I'm Dr. Jeremy Stovall, uh, Professor of Silviculture in the Arthur Temple College of Forestry and Agriculture at Stephen F. Austin State University. Uh, today we're going to be talking about silviculture. Silviculture is the art and science of tending or managing a forest. You can think of it as agriculture with trees. In silviculture, we deploy a variety of different management tools in order to manage a forest to meet the objectives of the landowner, whether that be timber, wildlife, recreation, aesthetics, or anything else you'd like to manage your forest for. Uh, silviculture is the cornerstone of forestry, and it's how we get what we want as humans out of uh, a single stand uh, or a patch of woods uh, that you're owning and managing. So a rotation is the whole life cycle that a forest goes through uh, from initiation to eventual harvest. And when we think about the process uh, of silviculture, we can start at the beginning. So if you have a mature forest and you want to harvest it, there's a variety of different tools we have available. You can clear cut it, cutting most of the trees, which grows you uh, a cohort or a group of trees all about the same age, usually that don't tolerate shade very well. That's a very common silvicultural system in the southern U.S. You've probably seen driving down the hot highway. Um, we can use other treatments where we do a shelter wood where you only cut about half the trees that lets species like oaks that like some shade regenerate in partial shade underneath the, the about half the trees that you've left and then you come back in about five or ten years later and the logger will remove the other half of the trees releasing the seedlings and that's your new stand. Um, if you want a stand that works well for wildlife and is extremely varied in habitat structure, has browse down low, mass production up high in the canopy, you can use uneven age silvicultural systems, such as group selection, where every 10 or 20 years you may go into your forest and cut in small groups, usually less than an acre in size, remove the trees there, and get new trees established and growing there. In the U.S. South, we plant about a billion seedlings a year. It's about three quarters of the total seedlings planted in the United States. And so tree planting is very common to establish new forests. And of course, many of the trees we plant are pine, uh, particularly Lavalli pine, although we also plant many hardwoods as well. Uh, when we plant trees, we typically do that in winter so that they'll survive. Uh, the small baby trees can't get too hot or they don't, they don't make it. Uh, the other thing we very commonly do in the middle of a rotation will be thinning, where you remove the trees that are less desirable, less likely to survive or be good products at the end of the rotation. And uh, we have the markets in the U.S. South where most of our thinning is commercial. The landowners will make money harvesting trees and improving their stand for later in the rotation. Um, and then we're back to the end of the rotation where you're looking at regeneration treatments again. So silviculture when practiced properly is sustainable. It is a cycle uh, and we can repeat it over and over and over again. And what we tend to find with silviculture is if it's done correctly, you continually improve the quality of the site, the quality of the soils. Uh, our forests produce good water quality, good air quality, and silviculture helps us have healthy forests.